In this video, I'm going to demonstrate two different methods to finish off the mouse as shown here. So first, I'm going to control tab to this open document and I'm going to use filled surfaces. You can't use a filled surface if this sketch in this sketch or the two 3D sketches are in the same sketch. It has to be four different sketches for the field to work. So I'm going to say I want to create a filled surface and I can select sketches here. So I could say I want this sketch and this edge and this edge and I'll rotate around and this edge and there's my filled surface. And again, I could say I want another filled surface and this time I could tell I want to use this sketch. I'll just rotate around to this end and choose this edge and this edge and this edge and accept that and then I have my filled surfaces. So I'm going to do it a different way now in this part. In this one, this and this are in the same sketch as are the 3D sketches here. So the filled surface won't work. This time I'm going to use a boundary surface. So for direction one, I'm going to select this edge and this edge and I'll accept those. And then for direction two, I'm going to select this edge. I'm going to rotate around a bit and I'll select this edge. And I'll say OK. And that works and has essentially the exact same surface as before. So one more time, I'm going to do a boundary surface. I'm going to select this edge. I'm going to need to turn the visibility of that sketch back on. So I'll just expand this and right click on it to show it. And I'll select this sketch and I'll say OK. And then for direction two, I'll select this edge, rotate around, select this edge, and I'll say OK. So we have essentially the exact same shape at this point in time. So next we want to make a planar surface on the bottom. So I'm going to select planar surface. I'm just going to rotate around and we're going to grab these edges here to create our surface. I'll right click to accept it. And next we need to knit the surfaces together. So I'll select knit and I'll just select the surfaces. I could also window select. I'm just going to go back to the isometric view. I'm going to turn on merge entities. So if I don't check merge entities, the entities will still be knitted together. Turning on merge entities allows faces to be merged that have the same underlying geometry. I'm going to say OK to that. Now next, he wants you to add a one inch fillet to the one end. But what's happened here is he's left a screenshot from an older version of textbook in here. You can't add the one inch fillet. So we're going to skip that. We do want to add two fillets. We're going to add a 40 thou fillet to this bottom edge. I'll right click and accept that. And then we're going to add the larger 0.4 fillet. So I'll enter the size of 0.4 around this edge. And I'll accept that. And there we have our mouse body.